Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we in the windy city, you know we gon' bear down. Whole team step out on the field, ain't no playing around. Home of the Bulls in the socks. Bet my defense put you in the box. When you see us out there on the field, we be flying high like the Black Hawk. You be y'all talk, we be y'all walk. Look how we bringing this pressure. Now you out here trying to throw a Hail Mary, taking them desperate measures. This is Shot Town, this is my town. TD bringing heat, don't cry now. Windy City, yeah, it's a new day. About to bring the trophy home like MJ. Ladies and gentlemen, it's playoff time. Bears franchise, I love you all, man. Oh my, yo, thank you to everyone for all the support on the series. This has been amazing. Hey, 10,000 likes if you guys want the series. Hey, every time you guys hit 10,000 likes, which we've done, we have a consecutive streak of 10,000 likes on all these videos. Let's keep that going. I'll keep, hey, getting you these videos every two or three days. Love you all. Playoff time, man. But bam, look on the screen. I, I got, dude, this is, there's a lot. There, I have a ton to unpack before this playoff game. There's a lot we got to go over, um, but yeah, it's showtime. That's, that's really all I can say. It's, it's showtime. It's put up or shut up. First round of the playoffs, we ended up making the playoffs, and I mentioned it at the end of the last video. We ended up making the playoffs as the number seven seed. Um, we barely made the playoffs just because we fooled like a cheap 10, and with that, we are playing against the number two seed in the very first round. The Packers ended up winning their game. The Giants ended up, TSAP ended up winning his game on this side. The Broncos absolutely destroyed the Steelers and so on and so forth. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, it's, time, it's time to talk. We, we, we got some things to talk about here. I have a really, really important comment question of the day today, which is going to change. Which is, hey, this is for all the people who have been watching all my franchises, and I, I was trying to make a list. So if people who have watched all my franchises, who is your guys' – who's the best – not necessarily fair. Who is the best, most dominant player, no matter the position, in any of my franchises? Like – you like I think of people like Melvin Burris, Carson Strong, uh, Minko was crazy, Sheriff Dickens was crazy, Duncan Swain, like pound for pound best player in any of my franchises. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk. We're playing against the New Orleans Saints today. Oh, so I have a strategy that I'm gonna be going with, and uh, I got my stupid little sweatband on here, uh, lucky playoff sweatband. I'm gonna explain to you guys my strategy, how I plan on doing this. But first off, let's do our training, let's do our upgrades, and let's go into this. Essentially, guys. I gotta be smart. I got. We have two great running backs on this team. I gotta control the clock, and I gotta just not make mistakes. I have lost games in this franchise when I start playing recklessly. When I start playing reckless is when... Come on. Beautiful timing. Oh, that could not have been better timing. Okay, plus one, Judah. That means finally, finally, finally he gets nothing. Shoot, I thought he was gonna get a freaking jukebox. Okay. That's right, he gets spin cycle though, which is at least something I was expecting a little bit more. Noah Dawkins gets an upgrade as well. We'll look at the Saints roster, but as I've been saying, throughout this season, um, we've made a lot of mistakes. Awards-wise, I think we ended up, I will check in on this really quick. MVP ended up being him. CMC got Offensive Player of the Year. Um, so yeah, we didn't really win. We didn't win a whole lot of nothing. Holy moly, I thought for sure we'd have a chance at some of these. No, nah, dude, we, we won that. We won a whole lot of nothing. Jones Jr. did all right. Kyler Gordon was fourth, and Brisker also had a pretty good year. I wanted to go over that for those of you guys who were curious. But, guys, the important thing is we find a way. No, however it may be, we just need to find a way. And I know I'm rambling all right now, but I promise I'm getting to my point. Let's go look at the Saints roster and analyze. Jameis Winston, this is their problem. I got to blitz as much as I can. No offense to Jameis Winston, but he's not the best quarterback in the league. I got to scream at this dude. I got to make sure every single play he's under pressure. We have the guys to do it. That's really important. Kamara is an absolute beast. I think he's got him up to a true 95 um, with Tank and running back apprentice. This guy just breaks every single tackle. It's actually stupid, um, and he's really, really good. We'll look at the stat. Receiver-wise, MT and Chris Olave. He's got Chris also as a superstar, so he has two superstar receivers. Now, one thing I need to discuss, he can't get, he gets short and elite, which is a really good ability. He's going to activate on almost any corner route. And Michael Thomas also has short and elite. Both of these guys are going to activate. So man coverage with my DBs based on these corners is not going to work. And this is something you need to find out before the game. It will not work. They will torch it. Short and elite. The other important thing to note is this. Short and elite only activates on routes that actually, shockingly enough, when you're in the slot and you run a corner, short and elite will activate. So I need to just have zones outside, but these won't activate on stuff to the inside. Important to remember. Tight end, Taysom Hill. 
Defense is really good. Um, just a lot of superstars. DBs are really good. Lattimore is a beast. That Alante Taylor is a beast. There is a lot of good players on this team. Statistically, on the year, I think he had a similar season um, to me, looks-wise. He had 42 touchdowns, 30 picks. He threw picks, but he threw a lot of touchdowns. That, that's the scary. He, the, dude, hey, the dude was not afraid to throw a pick, but he was also throwing lasers. 1,300 with MT, and I imagine Chris went crazy as well. With the stats that Chris has, he should go crazy, and 1,100 for Chris. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my strategy, like I said, I know I'm talking way too much. First off, I'm going to be spending my staff points right now on anything that I think could be beneficial. Um, but my strategy is just to go in and be smart and just not, and I know this sounds lame to say, I don't want, I don't want to lose the game is essentially what I'm getting at. I, I want to just, we, we got to win the game. I don't like, and that doesn't make any sense. What I'm trying to say, and I know nothing's made, dude, my words are just not working right now, but what I'm trying to say, you guys, I know you guys get it. I don't want to throw picks and give him the game. If he is going to beat me today, I need him to go up and down the field. I need him to be dominant. I need him to be making reads. And if he wins like that, he's the number two seed, we'll shake hands at the end of the game and I'll be good. But I don't want to throw picks. I don't want to make dumb mistakes. I don't want to force things. I have two great running backs, Khalil Herbert and Montgomery, who are both ready to absolutely freaking destroy this guy. This, the two-headed monster. Plus, who's the best player on my team now? The freaking pain train. Best trade ever. Roquan Smith's coming back from an injury. Let's go. Beautiful. Guy, we're set up. I believe in this team. I believe in all this. I know what we can do. I know we can win this game. We just got to come out today. Be great. Be smart. Let's go do our interview real quick and get this dub, man. Hashtag bear. You got to believe. I'm guaranteeing the win. I don't care about nobody's feeling. I know I'm the freaking seventh seed, but guarantee that win for me. Justin Fields, this is your chance. First career playoff game. Without further ado, hey, ladies and gentlemen, let's dance. It's all right, Herbert. Shoot. Said this, this D line is no joke. Let me let me be the first one to tell you guys this D line is absolutely no joke on this team. Justin Fields, let's just simplify, man. Play action. It's Fields. Okay. Didn't didn't get enough on it. Horrible start. Oh gosh. Hit him, hit him, good job, Brisker. That was the read, it was cover two, kind of like I thought it was, but just way too late on that throw. Dang it, man, okay, stay, hey, stay confident, stay confident, stay confident. Yo, come on. Tavon Young just got mossed. I'm not mad at that, that's MT, bro. That's MT. That's a dangerous man with some money in his pocket. That is a dangerous man with some money in his pocket. Okay, bounce back, Brad. Dang it, man. Oh, we got to be better on the first drive. Shoot. Go, go, Khalil. Cut in, Khalil. Good stuff, man. Yep, first, first down of the day. First, first down of the day. Well done, Khalil Herbert. Well done. Dude. Oh, yo, the left side, man. Oh, gosh, the left side of my line's got to be so much better. St. Brown, nice catch. St. Brown. Bro, oh, my. Mm, okay, I think this dude's screaming right now. Gotta be better, man. Gotta be better. A play fake now fields to throw. This pass on target. Good throw, Justin. Good throw, Justin. That was the biggest throw of the game, my friend. On first down, fields. Good stuff. Come on, let's go. Get it together, Brad. Get it to just settle in. All you gotta do is settle in here. Go, Khalil. That's all right. Nice 
Money Man Mooney, let's go. Good job, Darnell. Dude, Khalil Herbert. Well done, Herbert. Well done, kid. We love it, Khalil Herbert. We love it. You gotta have resilience, bro. You gotta have resilience. Oh, okay, yo, not the first quarter when I came into this game. This is not what I wanted, bro. This, I promise you, this is not what I was envisioning, but oh, it just means we gotta fight, dude. Can't do that, dude. I needed a dot there. Okay, it's fine. Let's go. Defense, we need to stop, fellas. Pick six, anything. We've done it all year. Just find ways. Find something. Find something. Good job. Good job, Robert Quinn. Jameis to throw it. Toward the sideline. Shotgun, it's Winston. Toward the sideline. Here's Winston. They'll get this out to Camara. And he'll be brought down this time. Winston to give. It's Camara. Oh, we hit him in the back, so that's just what Camara does, though. You can't I can't complain about that. I've done that with Herbert many times. You can, I can't sit here and complain about that, Mac. Like, I wouldn't be freaking out if I was him. That's just what superstars do. Um, I got 157 here to get seven points on the board, or else I think this, this could be a wrap, so. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. Dude, St. Brown, you have no idea how I love you, man. Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. On the move. That's going to be intercepted. Chauncey Gardner Johnson really got to take care of the ball because right now the way they're playing doesn't say a whole lot for their chance. Come on, Jalen. Pick it, bro. Come on, defense. We gotta step up, man. We gotta step up, defense. Like I don't, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. We gotta figure something out because we need a pick six or something to save this game right now. I'm throwing brutal passes right now. Like, come on. There's less than a minute left here, but with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of the field goal. Like I said, just, just what the announcers just said, man. On fourth down, Fields. Left side, got Jones. Spike it. And he is going to have the Bears first down as they man three before half. Okay, good job, Santos. Oh, okay. I'm just I'm trying to keep it a three-score game, man. Winston on third and two. Steps away to his left. Dude, like on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. He's got a man complete. And he's been shredded so far. Come here. Come here! Bot! Block for me! Block for me! Sit him down, Kyler! Sit him down, Kyler! Come on! Tooth and freaking nail, we fight to the finish. Looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Good catch. To throw his fields. That's complete to Mooney. Here's Fields. That's complete to his running back, Herbert. And he'll work this down inside the 30. Play action. It's Fields. And out of bounds. No hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. And I think the ball's out. They're down here in the red zone. You don't want to lose one there. There's no way Herbert shouldn't be able to get me a first down here. Good job, Herbert. Good job, Khalil. And the Bears are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five-yard line. Now Fields. Under pressure down. Back 
to throw. Fields. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. I know. I've played this guy too much, dude. I know if I run this ball, this is GG's. I know, I know if I go under center and run, it's GG's. I, I, I know if I go under center and run this ball, it's GG's. I've just played this guy too much. I've played him way, way, way too much. I think you got to trust your best player in the biggest play of the game. And that's exactly what I did. You got to trust your best player in the biggest play of the game. You got to, you got to, you got to. Okay. Two touchdown game, fellas. Come on, one stop, one stop, one stop, one stop, one stop. One stop. I'm not, hey, I'm not quitting, man. We're not quitting. Let's go. Come on. Hit stick him. And they are looking good. A two score lead here in this fourth quarter as they hope to capture a spot in the divisional round next weekend. And he takes this up to the 40 yard line before being corralled. 61 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. So quickly all the way up at the 40 yard line. Winston. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Ten yards, good for his Saints first down. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, hmm. I got, just make yeah, sure that goes the clock, man. They're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock. And this is second and less than a yard. That is holding by Problem is, I got to commit so much to Camara. I got to commit so much to Camara. You don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in. Somebody make a play. Good job, Payne. You just go ahead and play. My best chance at the moment, guys. Um, Just a yard on the first I'm, I'm relying on him. I need him to make a mistake. But I, I think he's just going to run it three times. Take the three. Honestly, that's the smart thing to do. This might be GG's, fellas. Oh, gosh. I'm just hoping he's crazy enough to pass this. He's not. And he'll be brought down well short of the first at about the nine yard line. And now right out of the two. Oh, okay. We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. I got to try. Dude, I'm trying to block kicks. I'm doing everything I can right now. Okay, we don't have a lot of time. We got to try and just score as fast as we can, but that, that stings. That stings, that stings, that stings. I couldn't stop Kamara on that drive. We said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD, but unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable. This is picked up by the Saints. And his crew will take over. Oh, oh my gosh, man. First and ten. Kamara up the middle. Last play here. We're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get him behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. A short gain here. Mayards here to pick up the first down. Winston from the gun on third down. Okay, we'll try and score again, fellas. We'll try and score again. Okay, we're gonna try and end strong, despite the fact this is over. Okay, final play of the season. Um, that's what's coming. Everybody in this freaking league, that's what's coming. Come on. Oh my gosh, what a freaking mess of a game.
What a freaking mess of a game. I don't got words, man. I don't got words. Good job. Hey, St. Brown, we love you. We love you, St. Brown. Okay, guys, hey, if you rock with me, kill the like button. The offseason is going to be out ASAP. If you rock, blah. Oh, am I salty? Obviously. I am very, very, very salty. Um, I played bad to start this game. I think I, think I got what I deserved. Uh, did he have some plays that I felt like potentially were a little stupid? Of course. He had, he had a couple plays where I'm like, eh. I, uh, I would have preferred if they weren't touchdowns, but in the end, I didn't do enough. 284 and one touchdown. I didn't do enough to get this W, and uh, yeah, we ended up. This pass to Chris Olave. This one was a. Actually, no, that one is. Dude, there was one Chris Olave touchdown, though, that literally made me want to punch a hole in my freaking chair. This one right here. Like, look at this. Like, come on. Come on. Like, really, bro? I was already fighting it. That was his first, that was his second touchdown. His first touchdown was, um, his first touchdown was this, uh, where he also egged us. This player right here, I was trying my best to like, I, I had a cover, I knew that he was in cover too, but Elante Taylor just stayed with him and he, he clicked on. I, I couldn't get enough on the throw. I needed to move right. And I maybe would have had a chance at that, but it was just a battery. My whole offense at the start of this game was so freaking horrible. I, I didn't deserve to be in this. He done his best dot. I'll give him credit for one dot. It was this Chris Olave 30-yard touchdown. But man, oh man, I'm, I, I regret it. I regret a lot of stuff that I did in this game. Um, I'd be lying to you if I said I'm happy with my performance. I'm not. But I love this guy. This dude's the freaking go. Like, St. Brown, the future is bright, man. I promise. This, this was year one of this team. I promise you, the future is bright. And I'm not quitting on this Bears team. I'm not freaking quitting on this Bears team. I think we're going to get some devs, hopefully, in the offseason. I imagine we're going to get some devs. I, St. Brown, for sure, will be a star by the end of the year. Next season, we got to get Justin Fields figured out. I got to get some stuff. Maybe Money Man. Money. Our defense, we had a lot of really good performers on the defensive side of the ball. Guys, there's a lot of stuff we gotta work on. Um, there's a lot of reasons to be excited. I still love this series. Like I know, this, is, this happens, man, disappointment. But we were the worst team in, in the game, um, numbers-wise, so. Oh, gosh. We'll see, I'll keep you guys posted on who ends up winning the entire thing and, and how he does. Heidi's barking at me. She thinks I suck, but. Uh, in the end, um, a, a great season for all these guys. And I don't, this is not goodbye. Like I said, I'll be back in probably two or three days with the off season and the first three weeks of the season. St. Brown, such a beast. It wasn't meant to be, man. The playoffs in this season were not meant to be. A lot of you guys are gonna hate me, is what it is. If, if, if you rock with me, stick around. But man, oh man, good year for the squad. But we gotta get better on defense, man. None of these guys can run with those guys. And you, you saw, I couldn't play man coverage. Hoping Jalen Johnson sees a big upgrade in his year too. Um, and we can get some of that stuff done. St. Brown, I'm expecting big things. Dude's such a beast. Khalil Herbert, I'm so proud of Khalil Herbert. What a season. Uh, he clutched up at the end. Quiet games from, uh, from Roquan, but I, just, I couldn't get to him. I really I couldn't get to him in that offense, which made it tough, man. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, GG's. Uh, 10,000 likes for the off-season video. As soon as the video hits 10,000 likes, I'll, pro I'll try my best to get that off-season video out for you guys. I love you all. Oh, the stings, but peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do me a huge favor and subscribe right now. Also, I have a second channel where I post NHL, MLB, NBA content. Link is down below. Go check that out. That would mean the world to me. Road to 200K on that channel. Thank you guys once again. My Instagram is at BrettBQB. My Twitter is TDBarrettYT. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching.